Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and welcome back to No Man's Sky! Yes, we're still playing this game, and yes, it is still just as awesome as it was when I first tried it. We're going to fly away from this planet, uh, and we're going to actually go ahead, and I think uh, our goal is to basically go toward, or a little bit closer toward the, um, Atlas Pass required. Uh, toward the uh, center of the universe, center of the galaxy. Now, I haven't really played this in a while, and my apologies for posting this after about a month of not posting things. But, you know what, there were so many news, so many space news I had to cover, and so many other things I wanted to talk about, that this game kind of just uh, became a non-priority, but I'm back to exploring this awesome universe, and we're going to discover new things, and we're going to talk about new things as well. For now, though, let's just get out of here. I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, and today our goal is going to be, well, let's actually maybe just first launch ourselves into space. And then we're going to try to see if we can potentially get a new ship or discover something new that we haven't discovered yet. Or maybe, just maybe, uh, just meet new aliens, meet new friends, meet new enemies, and then possibly kill them. Because why not? It's a game after all. All right. Um, I wonder if I need any fuel for my ship. I think my ship is still fine. I do believe that I've also installed... Oh, never you mind. I haven't installed anything on my hyperdrive. Uh, there we go. I have three um, hyperdrive charges now that I can use and basically go to three different systems. And we can also collect some tamium, which we can use for our fuel, right? I believe this right here. No, that's plutonium. What can I use? Uh, oh, it's pulse engine. Pulse engine is tamium. There we go. Alright, oh, awesome possum. I might as well use some plutonium on this. Uh, so, where are we going to go? Well, I think this system doesn't really have anything for us uh, currently. I may as well scan it just in case, just to see if there's anything else. Abandoned building detected. Uh, but I don't know if I want to go there. Hey, what's that? Space station. Distress signal detected. Interesting. And there's rare technology available in the abandoned building. Oh! Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. I have to fight. All right, so this this uh, game, or this video, is going to start with the battle. Oh, wait, there's someone else fighting there. Let's go help them. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to attack this guy right here. I don't know who that is, but he is. He's about to be a dead, dead ship. He's about to be a dead guy. Here. That's right. Oh, no, no, that's not cool. That's not cool. Overheating, overheating. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. A lot more fun than it may look like from the outside. Oh, geez, shield down. That's not cool. No, 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 no. Oh, great. That is great. They're actually beating me here. I don't need a new ship. I need to purchase a new ship. I may also consider repairing my ship using uh, iron. Ha! Suckers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I have a lot of materials to repair my ships. And you have nothing. Whatever he was using was very, very powerful. Uh, next on the list is... Who? Where? Oh no, I hit the ship by mistake. No, no, wrong ship. No, 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 no. That's not good. Oh boy. And I believe this is my first death. I totally made a mistake. I accidentally hit the ship. Death by freighter defense leader system. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. So that's what happens when you die. You just get respawned right here. Okay, let's not die again. Is my ship okay? Yeah, I guess it is. Grave. Grave? What's a grave? Let's go find out what the grave is. I guess, I mean, that's probably where I died, but... Can I pick something up there? Oh, yeah, restoring lost inventory. I guess I picked up everything I was missing, right? Oh, nice. So it looks like this is kind of similar to Minecraft in a sense. If you die, just lose your inventory and then you can go back and pick it up. 
Okie dokie. So, anything else here that I need to look at? No. All right, let's get out of the system. Time to go to a new location. And I believe we already have a preset path toward Atlas Interface. That's actually where we're going, right? Uh, Okie dokie. So, Atlas Interface. So our first jump is going to be right here. We're going to engage warp drive, jump to this new location, quickly do a scan, see what's going on here. Possibly maybe land on a planet or two. But our goal is to basically go to the Atlas interface because I really want to find out what's there. I still haven't seen one or possibly have, but did not know what it was. So let's go check it out. System Ninko for Surfrito, discovered by me on 11-1-2016. Kind of looks like the first system I've been to. I don't know if I want to land in here. Train post detected, nothing else detected. All right, cool. Doesn't look very uh, special. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next system. Which is called whatever that name is. All right, another purple galaxy. Uh, lots of ships and two planets right next to me. This planet looks kind of interesting. Journey milestone accomplished. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just scan this area. Uh, warp five times. I'm a scout now. Yay! What is this ship? I guess this will probably destroy me really quickly. A alien life form and training platform detected. And you know what? I'm really tempted to land right there, but I think it's going to be a typical uh, transmission tower that will probably lead me to some other secrets that will lead me to more secrets and that will lead me to more secrets. But for now, let's actually just go to the next location, which is actually, I believe, the Atlas interface, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's go figure this out. Let's see what, what it actually is. So we're going to go check out this Atlas interface, possibly get some kind of an accomplishment. And uh, maybe even meet somebody that we haven't met yet. And okay then. It is a big spacecraft, or I guess space station. It's a system called Heppel Jar. I'm gonna rename that into something more interesting. And if you ever see Atlas Atlas, it's my first uh, Atlas interface that I've discovered. Ooh, apparently this gives me quite a lot of units. I might as well rename all of them. And we also discovered the manufacturing facility nearby. And there's a few planets here. But our priority is to go inside the Atlas interface and basically figure out what this is all about. It looks kind of ominous and scary, actually. And we will be there in about 15 seconds. Now, I am so tempted right now to just shoot it. I'm really tempted to shoot it right now. I'm really... Oops. Ha! I'm, I survived. Hey, it's opening. Cool. I guess I'm allowed to go inside. Hello, Atlas Interface. What are you all about? Oh, it's a big sphere. It pulsates. Cool. And the music is getting very dramatic. Uh, is this safe? Am I gonna die? Is that something bad gonna happen? Should I be taking... Oh, you have learned the Corvax word for toxic. As in, like, this is all... Oh, the whole place is toxic? Don't go here? You should not be here? All right. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, can I... Okay, I can go down, right? This doesn't look very safe at all. Oh. Calm. As in, stay calm. This is toxic, but you'll die quick. Oh! That was not scary at all. Not scary at all. Oh wait, there's more of these things. I'm gonna go pick the, all of them up. What? What did that do? What did that do? Everything turned purple. I want to learn more words. Teach me words. Is this a puzzle? I don't know. I'm gonna go step on all of them. On this one. And on that one. And on this one. That's nothing to step on, I guess. That's not a steppy stone. Okay, so I stepped on all of them. And um, I guess that's it. I was given nothing. No new words. Nothing to learn. Is that a choice? I got a choice between black and, and white. 
this one is blinking more. And what's this? Convergence. Interact. And there's like two turtles on it. Um. Oh, wait a second. They switched places. Maybe they didn't. I'll interact with this one. Oh, that's a warp cell. Oh, oh, cool. I don't have to make new warp cells. That's awesome. Thank you for giving me two warp cells. Can I uh, go over there? There's some kind of an entrance there. Wait a second. Wait, what is that? What is that? That's an entrance, right? Entrance to something. Can I just jump over this or do I have to press the button? Oh! Okay. I guess there's no going back now. It is Ellen, unlike anything I have ever seen before. I should be afraid, but an exorable pull draws me toward the heart of the construct. I need to know. This is a remnant of the Atlas. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the promise of true understanding. The intent burns in me. I will peer into the structure of causality and know this, this existence. If it is real or some incalculably vast simulacrum authored by other intelligences. Hell yeah, except. What are you talking about? I'm not going to refuse. Oh, this is a translation of whatever this is saying. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders and the path to enlightenment opens to me. Ooh, I got an atlas stone. Is that what those atlas uh, keys are for? To open doors, I guess? Maybe? Can I still go here? Can I go through? Excuse me. Excuse me. I guess not. So now what? Do I need to do something else? Is that it? Game. Hello. I am still confused by what I need to do. Hello. Anybody home? No. Okay. Well, have a good day. Have a good day, sir. Until we see each other again. I'm going to jump on my warship in the galaxy and fly out of here. Press M to open galactic map. Okay, I think uh, the game is telling me to get out of here. Which I shall do with pleasure. Since I have two jump stones or warp stones, I don't really need to land anywhere. I'll be just fine. Just fine. Anomaly detected. Okay. What is it? Oh, next Atlas interface. Okay, so I have to go to the next one. But it requires a lot more jumps than I currently have. E right, right. One. Two. Has no fuel. Three. Four. I need three more uh, warp cells. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I pressed something. Searching. What, what are you searching? I don't know what you're searching. I'm going to add this as a, as a, as a, um, as a um, warp point. All right. Well, just, uh, well, let's maybe look around this system first. I have a feeling maybe there's like something interesting here. Maybe we we'll might um, be able to discover some kind of a fuel cell um, components and uh, this might allow us to basically go and create three more w um, fuel cells that we need because currently we only have two we need three more oh oh hello how are you what are you what operations entity raf so i landed on the station here and found this guy just sitting i'm gonna interact with him what do you have for me I don't know what you're saying. He is an electronic life from bright green and suddenly slows. It taps into its personal data. A life from looks to, uh, to me for help and then points to my gathered resources with a single slow and desperate movement. Hey, you want too much. I don't have that much. Sorry, dude. Sorry, man. You look really cute though, but I don't have anything for you. Oh no, correct standing decrease. No, that's not good. So now that I have those three suspension fluids, I need to construct the uh, warp cells. All I'm missing now is basically the uh, materials, such as plutonium, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go collect some plutonium 
this will give us the required uh, warp cells to jump out of here. Uh, well, not to jump out of here, but to jump into the new Atlas um, location. And then we might as well go and discover what we can find there. Okay, this ship looks really awesome. This looks like uh, something from Star Wars. Look at that. Like a half an X-Wing. I'm gonna go uh, see how much this is. It's a little bit better than my ship. It's a little bit longer. Hello! Sell me a ship, please. Can I have your ship? I think you're not gonna sell me your ship because you, your race doesn't like me as much. But can I still have it? Make an offer that you cannot refuse. Oh, look at your awesome starship. A oh, I can actually afford this one. So it has only two extra slots. But it sure looks much better than my old ship. Right? Kind of. Kind of. Uh, oh, I'm so tempted to buy this. Let, let's see how many slots this guy has. Just for a comparison. Because I never really noticed how many slots the ships normally have. Is this a lot more than, uh, than the other guy? Oh, you, you're prettier than the other guy too. Analyst Anthony Nanof, Nof, Naformat. It's a cool name. Uh, hi. How are you? Yeah, this has 22 slots. That's way, way better. I'm going to save up some money, get a ship with at least 20, 20 slots. That would be... Oh, plus the other guy just flew away. That would be a lot more beneficial. These are also really cool looking too. I wonder if ships are also randomly generated, uh, procedurally generated in this game. Because they do look very, very different every time. Oh, and there's a pink version of that too. Look at that. I want that. I want the pink version. Can I have the pink version, please? Please give me the pink version. He has a cape too. That's awesome. Chief Scientist Entity Emna. How much is yours? Also 900,000? Yeah, they're all the same price. So it looks like every uh, race has a very specific, unique design. Except for this guy. He's definitely outside of the box. That is a really large ship you have. What's inside of it? Anyway, so we have a goal now. We need at least like a million credits to basically purchase the slightly better ship. And we're going to actually go ahead and um, land on the planet, collect some plutonium, construct some um, power cells so we can actually right away go to the next atlas. And that will be our goal for this and possibly next video as well. But let's first scan the surface nearby and find somewhere to land. So we're going to go to this uh, really interesting looking planet and we're going to see if we can maybe discover something cool here. We just basically need to find enough materials and then we're going to start building the power cells. Now there's a manufacturing facility uh, somewhere here. It's the only thing I could actually find in this particular solar system. So might as well start here. Oh, okay, this looks already kind of scary. Oh, what's that? Cool. What is this? I want to see what that is. Oh, that's just um, one of the materials I can collect. All right, let's initiate the landing. This is not a very friendly looking planet. And I also have landed in a very, very peculiar location. Extreme winds. Oh, hi. Hello. Who is this? Who that? Who be you? Hello. I heard that. Take out your laser. Don't take chances. So extreme winds is something I haven't seen before. I'm a little bit terrified right now. I heard as soon as I land in here, there's basically some sort of a noise. All right, let's just do some scanning here. No, 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 no. What's this? I hear noises. I hear animals. Where are you, animals? Where are you? Where are the flowers too? Are these flowers? No. Are these flowers? Are, are you guys flowers? Come on. I need to collect some data to get some money. You're a cactus. You're clearly a cactus. Why are you not being scanned? Ah, fine. Be that way. Okay, I really want to like this planet, but I'm finding it very difficult because it's not cooperating with me. There's no animals. There's no plants. It looks very ominous and scary. And I do not like the sound here. It sounds very scary. Okay, okay. I need to find plutonium first. Plutonium is our priority. What's this? Iron. Iron? Take iron. Who can use iron? Alright. Okay, so this is a little bit brighter now. But I keep hearing these sounds. What is that? Okay, these are definitely plants, right? You've got to be plants. Okay, so found my first cactus. And possibly my first tree, whatever that thing is. Come on. So hard to, how, so hard to scan things here. 
I don't understand why it's so difficult. You're being difficult with me, planet. I'm gonna name you the difficult planet. Oh, I didn't get to rename it. No, I accidentally uploaded it first before renaming it. Okie dokie. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so what is this exactly? Is that gold? Is this all? All of this is gold, right? It's a big chunk of gold. That is really, really interesting. Oh no, it's emerald. It looks like gold. What's that? Oh, this is interesting. And that's, I think, plutonium. But that is really interesting. Uh, okay, let's take some emerald. And now that we've collected just a little bit of it, I don't think I need more. This is just in case. I'm gonna go check out what that red thing is. And also collect the plutonium I need to construct the... Oh, come on. That, I knew that. I knew you were gonna attack me. I don't know why I walked it over you. That was, that was being silly. Um, yeah, so I need to start constructing... What am I constructing? What am I constructing? I'm constructing... Not this. I'm constructing... The warp cells. But before I, I get to construct warp cells, I need to move closer to my ship because I think I'm too far away from it now. Okay, you are definitely a flower, right? Are you not a flower? Yes, you are. No animals so far, though. A lot of flowers, but no animals. So, what are you? Iridium. I'll take you. Oh, incoming storm. That's new. That's new. What's gonna happen? Oh, hey, I found an animal. I found an animal. I found some kind of an animal. It looks like a very, very, very interesting cow. Mature, non-uniform, shy. Not very particularly interesting, but I want to see his face. It's all about the face. Hello, animal that looks like a cow. How are you? Oh god, you're so ugly. You're so ugly. No, I regret coming here. Three. Oh wow, 120, 123 degrees. Are you kidding me? No, what's going on? Why is it so hot here? Whoa! Look at how fast it's falling. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, don't fall. You're falling too fast. I need to go inside a cave or something. I don't have any caves here. Help me! I'm falling too fast. Wow, this is the worst. Okay, I need to avoid planets that have storms on them. And I also need to recharge this right now. Caves! There's no caves here. Jesus. Okay. I'm so screwed. Oh, I found more! Look at that! Look at those guys! That, that's awesome! Like a little flying... Uh, I don't know what they are. Flying unicorns. Help me, unicorns! Help me! Save me from the storm. Well, that's not good. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start dying now. Oh, I guess it's not so bad. My health is not going down too fast. I get to explore this beautiful looking flying uni- Oh my lord, what has created you? No! No! No, don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I want to live! Hi! They want to live too! What are you? They all look so ugly. And I love them with all my heart. Oh, maybe I can hide in there. Maybe I can hide in here. No! Not helping. This is... Oh, here we go. Right here. Right here. Right here. Whew. I survived. Oh, wait. The storm stopped. That's why. Well, okay then. I can now look at these flying cows. Oh, never mind. Storm is still in progress. Where's my cave? Help me, cave. Well, I guess I'm stuck here for a little bit because, uh, looks like, unfortunately, oh, these are so beautiful. Look at that. Who created this monstrosity? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I think without any zinc, I'm going to be killed pretty quick if I leave this cave right now. But I, my goal is to basically reach this camp right there. That's why I came here. I'm going to try to reach it right away. And there's also some kind of a secret there. Yay, storm clearing. Let's get out of here. Oh, there was a cave right here. I didn't even see it. And this cave has plutonium. Awesome. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, can I actually maybe transfer this from my ship? 
Give me that. Electron Vapors. All right, so Electron Vapors are ready. Now, the next part is Antimatter, which means we have to collect 60 Zinc. Zinc is a little bit harder to find than Plutonium. So, it might take us a while. I don't really know where the Zinc is here. Haven't really se I've only seen a few Zinc um, nods. This is all Iron. I don't need Iron. I need Zinc. But this is a very beautiful cave, actually. All right, let's look around for Zinc. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to find it on this planet. And then we'll construct um, the antimatter that we'll need to construct the warp cells. Wow, this cave is actually really beautiful. Look at how interesting and unusual this is. There's all these stalagmites and stalactites. And on top of that, there's really interesting particle effects flying around everywhere. But unfortunately, the problem with me going into caves is me getting lost all the time. I do not know where the exit is anymore. And I totally, totally got lost. What is that? Oh, that's cool. What is this? Is that some sort of a plant? So yeah, this seems to be a big labyrinth. I definitely have not been here before. This is definitely something new too. Give me more plutonium. Well, looks like I'm totally and hopelessly lost inside this silly cave. I've actually been here for close to about half an hour now. I keep hearing animals, I keep hearing sounds, and I keep, I keep hearing storms above me, but I do not see the exit. I know there is an exit because basically, uh, you know, I was, I entered this cave somehow, but I think I may actually be either walking in total circles, or I have reached a location where I've never been before and I have no idea how to get out of here. I want to see what that secret is though, if I can reach it. And this is a location I haven't really explored yet because it's very, very steep, uh, very steep, very slopey. I don't think I've actually been here before. But uh, I think I'm unofficially stuck here. I, I believe that if you uh, exit the game and you restart the game, you're, you're going to start from the location where you um, saved last. But um, I don't want to do that. That sounds cheap. That sounds like cheating. Let's see if we can actually get out of here legitly. Without really using any cheap schematics, cheap mechanics. Uh, but yeah, I'm totally lost. Uh, so okay, next time before I go into a cave, I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to try to remember where I'm going. Try to make sure I know the location. Or at least the exit and entrance. And also basically not be so silly about it. Because clearly right now, I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea where I am. And it's not getting any better. Everything here looks kind of similar, yet somewhat different. I do not even have any idea if I've actually been here before. It does look somewhat similar, though. It's very sloppy again. All right, so let's see if we can get out of here in the next 10 minutes. And if not, we're going to continue this in the next part. And my apologies for being so silly and getting lost inside this somewhat beautiful but relatively stupid cave. Stupid cave. Why did I get lost here? Oh, okay. Look at that, that's, that's totally a dead end. And my life support system is at 50%. But luckily there's quite a lot of carbon here that I can actually collect and recharge my system with. Um, so that's not a problem. I'm not gonna die here, but I'm definitely gonna be here for quite a while. But you know what, this is probably not the best uh, way to end the video, but I think I have no choice here but to possibly quit the game and maybe, just maybe, hope that I'm going to start over from my ship, not from this cave. I did collect some plutonium here, so hopefully I'll get to save that. And if not, that's okay too. Uh, but yeah, I need to be really careful with these locations. This is actually kind of cool that you can get lost in this game so easily. To the point where you can't even get out. Uh, but I need to be smarter next time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope uh, you subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching No Man's Sky. And uh, keep track of other playthroughs as well. There's going to be one on Alien Isolation. I'm also going to get back to playing a few other games I haven't finished yet. Uh, they're not abandoned playthroughs. They're just being postponed for one reason or another. Usually because there's just so many other things I want to talk about. Um, rel related to basically space sciences, scientists or math. But for now we're just going to stop here. Unless there's an exit right in this location, which I highly doubt. And then we're going to continue this in the next part and hopefully not be so silly and get lost. Carbon! That's to uh, keep our suit from breaking. Oh, wait a second. Is that an exit? Do I see an exit? Do I see an exit? Oh, 
Is this freedom? And the answer is no. It's just more cave. Just more cave. Beautiful, yet somehow agonizing and very, 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 very painful. Wait, agonizing means painful, right? Never mind. I said the same word twice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep me later. Bye bye. No, like seriously, where is the exit? How how can this cave be so big? I I've never been here before. This would have been this would have been destroyed if I'd been here before. Oh boy. I'm so hopelessly lost. Oh well.